uh, hey guys, this is Blake from Judgment Company Airsoft. This is going to be my loadout for Tiny Town this Saturday. Uh, I'm going to go down there for the airsoft, not the paintball. Um, well, since my other vest is broken, the zipper broke, it's an easy fix, but maybe I feel like wearing my bulletproof vest here because it gives me more speed and yeah people say bulletproof vests are so heavy this one feels pretty late on me wow okay yeah it's pretty late so whatever you can talk bad about me all you want but anyways I've attached since you see no molly weave on here I just have some you know velcro over here to hold the straps for it to go around you and then some you know just patches for my vest and I have attached a side holster to the uh, belt and it's carrying a 44 Magnum probably not the best gun for outdoors um, but oh well that's just like backup for whatever necessary you know major backup um, I've also attached my dump pouch here to the other side and um, yeah I took in all this off my old vest which is completely digital camo so I might not look as cool um, I'm gonna guess they don't require you to wear a face mask since it's like outside and you're pretty far away so I'm not gonna wear no face mask even though my parents are gonna be like yeah you should probably wear that I, I might I don't know but it fogs up my goggles way too easily even though they're like fog proof but I think they wore out so oh well maybe like 30 bucks so I might as well get my money's worth on them and then I'm gonna be running a like 10 buck ten dollar camera here it's way better than the light so it'll be pretty good for in the morning and this is an $80 helmet with night vision mount on the front and side rails on the uh, sides I'm just holding this up with really super strong velcro here um, my other glove is gonna be like a full length finger hard well not hard knuckle glove this one is so I only have one pair of this though luckily it's on my dominant hand for that so that's good this one's just gonna be like a digital camo uh, some type of hard knuckle glove but it's hard throughout the whole fingers it wasn't as expensive as this but anyways <laughs> um, so yeah that's my pistol I might attach a um, a drop leg holster to my belt so I can hold my M1911 that's gas and full metal um, sort of like another backup that's probably just as good as my magnum here except that runs on green gas and this runs on CO2 uh, just wearing digital camo here and on, on the other underneath it's a uh, well, underneath here I have a digital camo long sleeve shirt uh, don't know why probably because it's gonna be cold outside and I just need to stay warm <laughs> even though I really like the cold um, I'm just wearing some digital camo pants as well you know whatever the army wears whatever you call them BDUs <laughs> um, and then some like somewhat good hiking boots I mean you know it's gonna be pretty flat I don't know how muddy it's gonna be or whatever um, and then I have a backpack on my back here that's digital camo as well it's my <laughs> school backpack here and kinda funny uh, but it, I find it to be kinda cool with on, along with my bulletproof vest I don't know I don't really carry anything and it's just there for the looks um, it's really light you know I, I don't have no strap connecting it here to hold it up but I'm pretty sure it'll stay up like that when I'm running so anyways my gun here is a g, &G. Uh, I have a high cap magazine that's not in the gun right now though this is a med, or med cap that's what I call it 300 rounds it's windy I guess it's a high cap uh, it's run by a lipo battery held in that compartment there uh, it comes with a laser attachment I don't know if you guys can see that but it will and then on the other side I have well it, this one doesn't use no light because it's cheap like that but that's okay because I have a light attachment over here and um, it's kind of a good light I don't know it's not the best but it'll do for whatever
whatever cause is. Uh, affordable stock for, you know, just like sitting back and sniping people out. Uh, my bottom rail fell off here, but with the Velcro, uh, it's using this camera to hold it up. Uh, I'm holding the grip with it, so it should stay on for a very long time. I might put on my red dot sight, but I just don't want it to get shot because I don't have any protective on it, protective lenses on it right now. So I'm just going to uh, have a standard iron sights for my gun. It should work out fine. Uh, that's my gun. It shoots about like 400. Four, 350 to 400 FPS. And along, there's one field that, you know, you play outside and then there's a CQB area called Castle. Um, you know, I have a Matrix M500 Mossberg shotgun for that purpose. Uh, it's gas powered. It uh, shoots five BBs at once. And it shoots about 300 FPS with five for like single shot. It shoots 500 FPS. It's really good. Um, yeah, I don't have any gas or BBs in it right now. The orange tip broke, tip broke off. So now it looks like a really real gun. Yeah. I'm not going to be taking my grenade with me. Or like, I mean, I only take my drop leg holster on my other drop leg attachment belt um, but oh well that's okay I don't feel like losing my grenade outside um, but yeah I would be down at Tiny Town this Saturday I should be uh, I'll have some members of Judgment Company Airsoft down there with me should have two snipers plus me and another assault man so a team of four yeah it's uh, gonna be fun maybe I'll meet you down there so or someone whoever Alright, this is uh, Blake signing off.